everyone. It's that time of year. It's two below zero and we're going ice fishing Christmas Eve. Um, I'm down on the Mississippi, super pumped. I probably shouldn't be here. It is 25 below wind chills or 22, something like that. Um, stiff 20 mile an hour breeze. And basically we are gonna get out there, get the shack up, get the heat on, and we are not moving around any. Um, I don't know, I just couldn't contain myself. I think I've fished the last five or six Christmas Eves and it's always usually pretty good, but it's usually never this cold. So we shall find out. I'm on one of my favorite perch spots on the Mississippi. So we're gonna go see if we can get some timber tigers dragged out of there today. All right, well, that was a pretty cold uh, <laughs> setup, but I got it done. Man, that wind is just howling out there. We are ready to fish, finally. Whew, I'm all sweated up, actually. Way overdressed, but you never can be too prepared out here when it's uh, 25 below wind chill, so. We're all set up. My Helix 7 going, heater, camera gear, one tip down there, tip down here. rosy reds and my chair some rods and we're ready to fish so um, I am the only person out today and for good reason it is not nice out so but we got the heater fired up we're just gonna sit here enjoy and kind of knock the dust off type of day and make sure everything's operating correctly the way it should I was actually out um, last Monday up to on Alaska actually north of La Crosse um, we did okay. I uh, had enough for a couple of meals, but it was a pretty sluggish bite and all around just small fish. So we're moving down here where the big girls roam. So see if we can pull a couple of topside today. Oh, I just marked a fish. Look over here. We got tip down going down. Fish on, kids! Fish on! Oh yeah! That's what I'm talking about right off the bat. And he hammered it too. Nice Mississippi perch. Like I said, we haven't been on the ice very long here. Beautiful fish. Oh, there's one. Ooh, feels like a decent one. Oh yeah, nice. We're on the Mississippi, it's cold. I'm the only one here, and we're catching perch, so good, good deal. Oh, tip down, going down. Nobody home. Highway robber, little son of a rip. But we got Pringles. At any given second, you could uh, you could catch an absolute giant. I mean, huge crappies, 
I mean, you can catch so many world-class fish down here, which is what makes it so neat and so special. I fish down here a lot, and I am so pumped every time I come down here. It just gets me excited. Even if it's crappy weather, I'm just like, I gotta go for it. Man, I can't believe he didn't eat it. He chased it three and a half feet up. There he is. Ooh, this feels like a good one, too. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what we're after. Man, what a beauty of a fish. Man, they're just absolutely beautiful fish. Big, fat shoulders on them. I mean, this is, these are the perch you dream of all summer long. It's worth coming out in the cold. We got a tip down firing. Oh. Man, I just dropped it. We're going to get Oh. Oh, oh, got a tip down going. Not there. Hold my bait, the little tail grabbing son of a. They seem to want some flash and some action. There he is. Ooh, we could have ourselves a jumbo here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, buddy. The old slab wrap perch. See, look at, look at the size of that bait. Now, those fish were just not very aggressive. And man, I don't know if the rattles or what it is, but that just gets them fired up. Dang, I'm gonna have to turn my heater up on high here pretty soon. It is cold. I just missed one. But yeah, negative 25 through. I just went out there, it's wicked cold. Uh, by next weekend, New Year's, it's going to be 45 and rainy. So. Oh, now he's over by this. <laughs> there, I finally got him. Now I got my tip down here. <laughs> I wonder why. See, you never know what you're going to catch in the Mississippi. <laughs> That's why he was coming up at it so hard. Just a little perch colored Z vibe. Oh, there's one. Oh, yeah, nice perch. There's another one down there. Switch back to a tungsten now. It's kind of mixing it up. Yeah, let's get right back down there. Oh, my general kind of rule of thumb is just if I mark two or three fish and don't catch one, I'm switching baits. And I'll just go through my whole gamut. But it seems like I'm getting a bite here and there and there. And there comes another one. There he is. Oh, and my tip down's going. I'll get this one out of the hole. Oh, that's a jumbo, dude. Oh, another one. The bite's on. Oh, another nice one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it can happen that fast. Look at that. Nice, big fatties. Nice school down there right now. Holy smokes, we got fish flopping everywhere. Come here, Bella. I want to check that out. That one's got a 
fish hanging out of his mouth and he ate it. It's one of those feed windows right now, I'm guessing. Sun just came out. Sometimes that makes a difference, but what do you think about that? A one man double. Love it. Sometimes just a subtle change in conditions like the sun like that will just bring on a, a nice bite window. Ooh, that does not sound fun out there. Pickup is not going to be fun. A little bit. There he is. Ooh, this is a hefty fish. This is a big one. Ooh, this is a perch. This is probably over 12, I bet. This is a big fish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, what a toad. Oh man. <laughs> what a beauty of a fish, man. Nice solid, probably 12 incher. Oh, oh when I left, when I was talking about going fishing last night, uh, Miss Seraphine did not want to participate today. I offered to take her some more fish down there. Ever. Now I got all my spikes, but. She, she's like, if you go, you better bring home some fish. So, I am bringing her home some fish. We will wrap Christmas presents and eat perch tonight. Hands down, the best thing you'll ever want to eat in your life. Mississippi perch out of the ice. Unbelievably good. I would order that almost over lobster every single time. Man, we got quite a nice little flurry here. That's four or five really, really solid fish. Birds that, you know, 11 to 12 inches in the last 10 minutes or so. There's another one. Oh, jeez. No. Oh, my deucer. Ah. Perch are rolling on the Mississippi. Man. Just beautiful. Oh, yeah. This one's this one's it's a nice fish. Oh yeah. Yeah, buddy. Man, these are tanks. Just Too. Stout little boy, girl. Man, this is fun, guys. This is so much fun. I can't even can't even explain to you. Waiting the whole summer to do this. Okay. 
do a quick fish count. Ooh, I got one coming at it right away. One more for our limit of 15. Ooh. That one will be a nice little eater. Man, he choked it too. So many clothes on, I can't bend over. Un mas. Un mas. Man. Oh, my hands are cold. Taking all the fish off, man. Heater's not even keeping up. It's so cold out. That'll probably take me three hours to catch my last one. Oh, no. Oh, here comes one. Oh, tip down. It's going. Oh, come on. This one's a little more finicky, but he's got some buddies hanging around with him down there. Oh, the buddies are over on my tip down here. Oh, littler guy. Just a little fella. You can go grow a little bit. <sighs> oh man, there are oh man. <laughs> Christmas to me. Oh, come on now. Dang. That, that's a beaut right there. Man, he is not happy about being caught either. Oh, almost right back in the hole. <sighs> that's what we're after. That's a solid, solid, chunky fish. Big old shoulders on them. They're just thick fish, but just as easy as that. Basically, 45 minute bite window here, a half hour bite window, and I just crushed them. So I think we're just going to stick around and do a little catch and release fishing, but it's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. Um, I'll film on the way in because obviously it's super extreme out and stuff, but yeah. Pretty awesome, awesome morning. We're gonna sit here and enjoy this a little bit longer. Oh. Well, that, that was a pretty dang fun bite this morning. Oh man, did we just smash them. Oh, I sat here and caught probably another 20 after I kind of got done filming my first whatever 15 for my limit here on the Mississippi River. So unfortunately, I could stay longer, but the wind is getting very, very wicked, and I'm afraid about taking this tent down and it blowing away. So I'm gonna get bundled up and geared up, and we are gonna try to pack up and get to the truck and get warmed up, because it's gonna be brutally cold. I looked at my phone and it's 27 below wind chill right now. So, whoo, trying to enjoy my last little minute of heat here and get psyched up for the wrap up job. Um, yeah, I will be on our way home, clean some fish, and have an amazing Christmas Eve dinner. 
Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, get our gear on it up. That made my eyes water. Oh, I racked my head on the way out on the top of the wall, about knocked myself out. But <laughs> other than that, uh, pretty amazing day. Look at this wind. Just fucking drifts the whole way home. <laughs> pretty awesome. It's winter. I love it. Uh, Unfortunately, it got rain on the way too, but uh, what an amazing, amazing first real day on the ice when I was, got everything all dialed in and geared up and uh, the bike went just how I expected it to go. Pretty decent. It was a little slow right away at first light, but man, when, when there was a big flurry going on or a big school came in, it was, they were hungry and looking to eat. So we're going to have lots of content coming up should be pretty awesome so check you later <laughs>